67P Churyumov Gerasimenko, abbreviated as 67P or 67P CG, is a Jupiter family comet, originally from the Kuiper Belt, with a current orbital period of 6.45 years, a rotation period of approximately 12.4 hours, and a maximum velocity of 135,000 kilometers per hour, 38 km Kilometers per second, 84,000 miles per hour. Churyumov Gerasimenko is approximately 4.3 by 4.1 kilometers, 2.7 by 2.5 miles, at its longest and widest dimensions. It was first observed on photographic plates in 1969 by Soviet astronomers Klim Ivanovich Churyumov and Svetlana Ivanovna Gerasimenko, after whom it is named. It came to perihelion closest approach to the Sun on 13 August 2015. Churyumov-Gerasimenko was the destination of the European Space Agency's Rosetta mission, launched on 2 March 2004. Rosetta rendezvoused with Churyumov-Gerasimenko on 6 August 2014 and entered orbit on 10 September 2014. Rosetta's lander, Philae, landed on the comet's surface on 12 November 2014, becoming the first spacecraft to land on a comet nucleus. On 30 September 2016, the Rosetta spacecraft ended its mission by landing on the comet in its Maat region. Discovery. Churyumov Gerasimenko was discovered in 1969 by Klim Ivanovich Churyumov of the Kiev University's Astronomical Observatory, who examined a photograph that had been exposed for Comet Komas Sola by Svetlana Ivanovna Gerasimenko on the 11th of September 1969 at the Alma Ata Astrophysical Institute near Alma Ata, now Almaty, the then capital city of Kazakh Soviet Socialist Republic, Soviet Union. Churyumov found a cometary object near the edge of the plate, but assumed that this was Comet Komas Sola. After returning to his home institute in Kiev, Churyumov examined all the photographic plates more closely. On the 22nd of October, about a month after the photograph was taken, he discovered that the object could not be Comas Sola, because it was about 1.8 degrees off the expected position. Further scrutiny produced a faint image of Comas Sola at its expected position on the plate, thus proving the other object to be a different body. Topic. Shape The comet consists of two lobes connected by a narrower neck, with the larger lobe measuring about 4.1 km × 3.3 km × 1.8 km 2.5 miles × 2.1 miles × 1.1 miles and the smaller one about 2.6 km × 2.3 km × 1.8 km 1.6 6 miles times 1.4 miles times 1.1 miles. With each orbit the comet loses matter, as gas and dust are evaporated away by the Sun. It is estimated that currently a layer with an average thickness of about 1 plus or minus 0.5 meters 3.3 plus or minus 1.6 feet is lost per orbit. The comet has a mass of approximately 10 billion tons. The two lobe shape of the comet is the result of a gentle, low velocity collision of two objects, which is called a contact binary. The terraces 
Layers of the interior of the comet that have been exposed by partial stripping of outer layers during its existence, are oriented in different directions in the two lobes, indicating that two objects fused to form churyumov gerasimenko Surface There are 26 distinct regions on Churyumov Gerasimenko, with each named after an Egyptian deity. Regions on the large lobe are named after gods, whereas those on the small lobe are named after goddesses. Nineteen regions were defined in the northern hemisphere prior to equinox. Later, when the southern hemisphere became illuminated, seven more regions were identified using the same naming convention. Topic: <laughs> Gates. Features described as gates, twin prominences on the surface so named for their appearance, have received names by the Rosetta Science Working Team. They are named after deceased members of the Rosetta team. Topic: <inaudible> Surface changes. During Rosetta's lifetime, many changes were observed on the comet's surface, particularly when the comet was close to perihelion. These changes included evolving patterns of circular shapes in smooth terrains that at some point grew in size by a few meters per day. A fracture in the neck region was also observed to grow in size. Boulders tens of meters wide were displaced, sometimes traveling more than 100 meters, and patches of the ground were removed to expose new features. A number of collapsing cliffs have also been observed. One notable example in December 2015 was captured by Rosetta's NAVCAM as a bright patch of light shining from the comet. Rosetta scientists determined that a large cliff had collapsed, making it the first landslide on a comet known to be associated with an outburst of activity. Topic. Orbit and rotation Like the other comets of the Jupiter family, churyumov gerasimenko probably originated in the Kuiper belt and was ejected towards the interior of the Solar System, where later encounters with Jupiter successively changed its orbit. Up to 1840, the comet's perihelion distance was 4 astronomical units 600 million kilometers, too far for the Sun to vaporize the nucleus. In 1840 Jupiter changed the orbit to a perihelion distance of 3 astronomical units 450 million kilometers, and later encounters further decreased that distance to 2.77 astronomical units 414 million kilometers. .In February 1959, a close encounter with Jupiter moved Churyumov-Gerasimenko's perihelion inward to about 1.29 astronomical units, 193 million kilometers, where it remains today. Before Churyumov-Gerasimenko's perihelion passage in 2009, its rotational period was 12.76 hours. During this perihelion passage, it decreased to 12.4 hours, which likely happened because of sublimation-induced torque. Topic: 2015 perihelion. As of September 2014, Churyumov-Gerasimenko's nucleus had an apparent magnitude of roughly 20. It came to perihelion on the 13th of August 2015. From December 2014 until September 2015, it had an elongation less than 45 degrees from the Sun.
On 10 February 2015, it went through solar conjunction when it was 5 degrees from the Sun and was 3.3 astronomical units 490 million kilometers from Earth. It crossed the celestial equator on 5 May 2015 and became easiest to see from the northern hemisphere. Even right after perihelion when it was in the constellation of Gemini, it only brightened to about apparent magnitude 12, and required a telescope to be seen. As of July 2016, the comet had a total magnitude of about 20. <laughs> Rosetta mission Churyumov Gerasimenko was the destination of the Rosetta mission, launched in 2004, which rendezvoused with it in 2014 and was the first mission to land a space probe on a comet. Topic: <laughs> Advance work. As preparation for the Rosetta mission, Hubble Space Telescope pictures taken on 12 March 2003 were closely analyzed. An overall 3D model was constructed and computer generated images were created. On 25 April 2012, the most detailed observations until that time were taken with the 2 meter Fox telescope by N. House, G. Sostero, and E. Guido while it was at its aphelion. On 6 June 2014, water vapor was detected being released at a rate of roughly 1 liter per second. 0.26 US gallons per second when Rosetta was 360,000 kilometers 220,000 miles from Churyumov Gerasimenko and 3.9 astronomical units 580 million kilometers from the sun on 14 July 2014, images taken by Rosetta showed that its nucleus is irregular in shape with two distinct lobes. Two explanations were proposed at the time, that its shape may have resulted from asymmetric erosion due to ice sublimating from its surface to leave behind its lobed shape. Newer evidence supports the contact binary model. The size of the nucleus was estimated to be 3.5 times 4 kilometers, 2.2 times 2.5 miles. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Rendezvous and orbit. Beginning in May 2014, Rosetta's velocity was reduced by 780 meters per second, 2800 kilometers per hour, 1700 miles per hour with a series of thruster firings. Ground controllers rendezvoused Rosetta with Churyumov Gerasimenko on the 6th of August 2014. This was done by reducing Rosetta's relative velocity to 1 meter per second, 4 kilometers per hour, 2 miles per hour. Rosetta entered orbit on the 10th of September at about 30 kilometers, 19 miles from the nucleus. Topic: <laughs> Landing. Descent of a small lander occurred on 12 November 2014. Philae is a 100 kg £220 robotic probe that set down on the surface with landing gear. The landing site has been christened Agilkia in honor of Agilkia Island, where the temples of Philae Island were relocated after the construction of the Aswan Dam flooded the island. The acceleration due to gravity on the surface of Churyumov Gerasimenko has been estimated for simulation purposes at 10 minus 3 meters per square second, or about one ten thousandth of that on Earth. Because of its low relative mass, landing on the comet involved certain technical considerations to keep Philae anchored. 
The probe contains an array of mechanisms designed to manage Churyumov Gerasimenko's low gravity, including a cold gas thruster, harpoons, landing leg mounted ice screws, and a flywheel to keep it oriented during its descent. During the event, the thruster and the harpoons failed to operate, and the ice screws did not gain a grip. The lander bounced twice and only came to rest when it made contact with the surface for the third time. Two hours after first contact, contact with Philae was lost on 15 November 2014 because of dropping battery power. The European Space Operations Centre briefly re-established communications on 14 June 2015 and reported a healthy spacecraft but communications were lost again soon after. On 2 September 2016, Philae was located in photographs taken by the Rosetta orbiter. It had come to rest in a crack with only its body and two legs visible. While the discovery solves the question of the lander's disposition, it also allows project scientists to properly contextualize the data it returned from the comet's surface. Science The composition of water vapor from Churyumov Gerasimenko, as determined by the Rosetta spacecraft, is substantially different from that found on Earth. The ratio of deuterium to hydrogen in the water from the comet was determined to be three times that found for terrestrial water. This makes it unlikely that water found on Earth came from comets such as Churyumov Gerasimenko. On the 22nd of January 2015, NASA reported that between June and August 2014, the comet released increasing amounts of water vapor, up to tenfold as much. On the 23rd of January 2015, the journal Science published a special issue of scientific studies related to the comet. Measurements carried out before Philae's batteries failed indicate that the dust layer could be as much as 20 centimeters (8 in) thick. Beneath that is hard ice or a mixture of ice and dust. Porosity appears to increase toward the center of the comet. The nucleus of Churyumov Gerasimenko was found to have no magnetic field of its own after measurements were taken during Philae's descent and landing by its ROMAP instrument and Rosetta's RPC MAG instrument. This suggests that magnetism may not have played a role in the early formation of the solar system, as had previously been hypothesized. The Alice spectrograph on Rosetta determined that electrons within one kilometer or 0.6 miles above the comet nucleus produced from photoionization of water molecules by solar radiation, and not photons from the Sun as thought earlier, are responsible for the degradation of water and carbon dioxide molecules released from the comet nucleus into its coma. Also, active pits, related to sinkhole collapses and possibly associated with outbursts are present on the comet. Measurements by the COSAC and Ptolemy instruments on the Philae's lander revealed 16 organic compounds, four of which were seen for the first time on a comet, including acetamide, acetone, methyl isocyanate and propionaldehyde. Astrobiologists Chandra Wickramasinghe and Max Wallace stated that some of the physical features detected on the comet's surface by Rosetta and Philae, such as its organic rich crust, could be explained by the presence of extraterrestrial microorganisms. Rosetta program scientists dismissed the claim as pure speculation. Carbon-rich compounds are common in the solar system. Neither Rosetta nor Philae is equipped to search for direct evidence of organisms. 
The only amino acid detected thus far on the comet is glycine, along with precursor molecules methylamine and ethylamine. Solid organic compounds were also found in the dust particles emitted by the comet. The carbon in this organic material is bound in very large macromolecular compounds, analogous to the insoluble organic matter in carbonaceous chondrite meteorites. Scientists think that the observed cometary carbonaceous solid matter could have the same origin as the meteoritic insoluble organic matter, but suffered less modification before or after being incorporated into the comet. One of the most outstanding discoveries of the mission so far is the detection of large amounts of free molecular oxygen O2 gas surrounding the comet. Current solar system models suggest the molecular oxygen should have disappeared by the time 67P was created, about 4.6 billion years ago in a violent and hot process that would have caused the oxygen to react with hydrogen and form water. Molecular oxygen has never before been detected in cometary comas. In situ measurements indicate that the O2-H2O ratio is isotropic in the coma and does not change systematically with heliocentric distance, suggesting that primordial O2 was incorporated into the nucleus during the comet's formation. This interpretation was challenged by the discovery that O2 may be produced on the surface of the comet in water molecule collisions with silicates and other oxygen-containing materials. Detection of molecular nitrogen N2 in the comet suggests that its cometary grains formed in low temperature conditions below 30 K minus 243 degrees Celsius minus 406 degrees Fahrenheit on the 3rd of July 2018 researchers reported that molecular oxygen is not made on the surface of comet 67P a finding that supports the no notion that the oxygen comes from the body of the comet, and may be primordial. <inaudible> <inaudible> Future missions CAESAR is a proposed sample return mission aimed at returning to 67P, Churyumov Gerasimenko, capturing regolith from the surface, and returning it to Earth. This mission is competing in NASA's New Frontiers Mission 4 selection process, and as of December 2017 is one of two finalists in the program. Gallery See also List of comets visited by spacecraft List of numbered comets <laughs>